Welcome back to the crochet crowd as well as my friends over at yarnspirations.com. Today is the Red Heart Turn the Page Crochet Slippers. They're like boots. And what this is here is actually an easy level pattern and there are three sizes for adults. So we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten that we have here. I don't have information for any sizes that are bigger or smaller than this. So what we're gonna be using today is Red Heart and the uh, Huga Yarn and uh, you can see it here. I'm gonna be using this bright pink and then my contrast color I'm just gonna just use other stuff here. I have this in stock so I'm gonna use it up. So I'm gonna use that and then we just need some uh, Huga fur and the fur version here is just for the top and then I'm gonna be using that as well. So let's uh, talk about the sizing of this particular pattern and let's go from there first. So when we look at the sizes we can see the color sizes here. So five, six is in this color, seven and eight and nine, ten. So when there's a decision to be made in this particular pattern you're going to notice is that it will be highlighted in the color. So to fit women's shoe sizes five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and it will show you there and it also has the length there then in centimeters and also inches. So we also have here is that when there's a decision to be made for example the sole with the main color, MC is main color, chain four, five, six, you're going to choose the color that you want. So in today's tutorial I'm going to do seven and eight as just my choice. So it's highlighted for you but what you could do is just go ahead and just kinda highlight the ones that you're going to play with. It then helps you just to keep an eye on things. So uh, for example here it says turn and it tells you how many stitches there are. So it's telling you per, like the four is matching the same color so it tells you how many stitches are left. So you may wanna do that just for your own sanity in order to keep on. So right here there's another decision to be made and it says repeat the last row until worked from the beginning measures either four and a quarter, four and a half or five. Again follow the color that matches there. So if you're substituting and you're doing a different size here today just uh, pull up this pattern and you can follow along as well and we will cover those instructions as well as we're going. So when I say we're covering this instructions I'm showing you what to do but you have to make the decision that is based on the, uh, the size that you're doing. So I don't think there's much more than that. So it's gonna be a six and a half millimeter size K crochet hook today and we're gonna start off with our main color of the Huga, uh, the Huga Red Heart Huga. <laughs> uh, and Diane for our CC it's spelled H-Y-G-G-E <laughs> and we'll get started right now. So let's begin. We're gonna create a slip knot. This is considered an easy level. I wouldn't say it's necessarily for be beginners but it is an easy level. And we're going to then just chain up uh, the size that you want. So you're either gonna do four, five or six. I'm going to do the medium size for me. So mine is gonna be chaining a five. So one, two, three, four and five and let's go to the first row. So no matter what size you're working on right now you're going to go second chain from the hook. So one and two. Turn it over. Get the back hump of the chain and I want you to single crochet yourself across. So you will either have three single crochets here four or five and in my case I'm going to have four because I'm doing the medium size. So let's uh, continue to do that and this is row number one and then we'll turn our work and do row number two in just a moment. There you go. So let's turn and do row number two. So row number two it doesn't matter what size that it is. It's all the same instruction. So it's just gonna be chaining up one and you're going to put two single crochets in the first one. So one and two and you're gonna go all the way across and the very last one you're going to put two single crochets in the last one. And so this is the last one so I'll put two in there. So one and two and turn your work and let's move on in the instruction. Now the next instruction it says repeat the second row once more. So just chain up one, put two into the very first one. So one and two and continue all the way across and the very last one will have two single crochets in there too. So this is the last one. So put two in there and then turn your work and let's move on to the next instruction. So the next instruction is gonna take you through a large section of, this, of the sole and you're going to just chain up one and you're going to apply one single crochet in each of the stitches going across. So you're going to repeat this same instruction until you get to a certain size. So you're gonna repeat th the same instruction until the beginning to where you're going to end is going to either measure four and a quarter, four and a half or five. 
and that's where you're going to meet me. So turn your work and so keep on going. So chain up one, one single crochet in each and then turn your work and one single crochet in each and then just grab a tape measure that you have and then just measure. So it should be from the very beginning. So it should be four and a quarter, four and a half or five and you'll meet me back here in just a moment. So I've now just completed four and a half inches for my size. You could have been four and a quarter or five and now we're gonna move on in the next row of instructions. It says chain one and put two single crochets in the first one. So one and two and then one single crochet in each of the stitches and then put two into the very last one. So we're making it a little bit wider at this moment. Okay, so we got two into the last one and then turn your work and then we're going to begin what we already know. So we're gonna chain up only one and then put one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way across and you're going to have to repeat that until the entire sole is either measuring seven and a half inches, eight and a quarter or nine. And of course if you're using the metric you can use the centimeters that are listed on the pattern. So you're just gonna go back and forth like you just did just single crocheting back and forth. So then you're just gonna get your dimension. So it's either um, seven and a half for the small, eight and a quarter for medium and nine inches then for the large. So continue to do that and I'll see you back here in just a moment. Okay, I now have my eight and a quarter. You may have seven and a half or you may have nine. So I've just measured it out and it's working. So now we have to shape the toe region up here. So this is the heel. So we're going to do this and it's actually really simple and you have to keep doing this until you get back to the same amount of stitches that you had in the very beginning of the heel. So in my case there was four stitches all the way across. You may have had three or five and remember that was after the chain was done. So it was the first pass across. That's the same amount. To do this then you're going to just chain up one and you're gonna put the first one together. So let me just uh, bring you in a little closer so you can see. So you're gonna go in and then you're gonna go to the very next stitch and in and pull through and you have three loops, pull through all three. So then you single crochet yourself all the way to the other side and the very final two stitches and this is for all of the sizes are going to be come together. So you have two stitches left. So just going into the next one and then the one after that pull through and then pull through all three loops. So then just turn your work and let's chain up one. So the very first one and the next one are together and then single crochet across. So in my case that I'm looking to have four single crochets left. So once I'm all the way across the very final two here are coming together and then turn. So chain up one and put the first two together and then single until I get to the two finals at the end. So one and two and I think I'm actually done. So if I turn my work I can count my stitches. I have one, two, three and four which is my goal. So you may have five or you may have three depending on your size. Then once you have that you're going to fasten off and let's just review on how to fasten this off with the tapestry needle because I think it'll look better too. So let's review on how to fasten off. So you're just gonna pull through the loop to lock it and then just using your tapestry hook. I would not recommend just weaving it in with the crochet hook because you are going to be walking on this thing more than likely or somebody will be. So just pull it through to the stitches underneath going across once. Don't change the shape of it and then going through the second time a different path and then finally a third time and I want you to do that with the starting one as well and once you have it back and forth three times you can safely then cut that right to the project and then go and do the heel one as well and meet me back here in just a moment. Okay so let's talk this sole coming around. The next part we have to get the right amount of stitches to go all the way around this thing. So we're gonna start on the back heel and we have to get either 55, 63 or 71 st single crochets all the way around this. So what I did is that I marked the roughly the front of this thing. So we're gonna start in here and so if I have to get 63 stitches around for my size I wanna at least get half of that before I like by the time I get to this point and then the other half here. So okay so let's try our first round and you wanna start in the back of the heel and you're gonna go right into the actual stitch work itself and I'm gonna start on the second one like there's four here so I'm gonna start right here. 
So I worked it out that I want 63 stitches to go all the way around for my size. So by the time I get here this should be number 31 and then I'm going to finish the other 60 like the all the way to 63 by the time I get back. So my goal is is to make sure that I'm 31 by this moment in order to keep the spacing. So I've just come in the back and I'm just going to it, uh, attach it through with a slip stitch, chain up one and one single into there. So because you've been doing single crochet each side of the row should equal one single crochet stitch. So moving on, so we're just going to go to the next one. So I wanna count, so two and then three and just go down the sides of the, the rows. This is four and five and six and keep on going around and just make sure by the halfway point that you've got it figured out and then you can get all the way around here and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So just come all the way around in the first round and I've got my stitches in here so I have a total of 63. You could have 55 or 71 and I did it on the first time around so it's good. So I just took a look at it and I just had to jump over one row section here just and it, you, you barely even notice it. So you won't notice that in time. So you know you just have to equally space. So the goal is is to get that number. So you're just gonna slip stitch to the top of the first one and we're going to be turning our work. So we're not going to go in a continuous round for this and you're going to chain up one and starting in the very first one you're going to do one single crochet in each of the stitches going back in the other direction and then we'll join it at the end of this. So this is row number two. So let's begin to do this next. So I'm coming up all the way around on number two and I'm just going to just go in the last one and then slip stitch it to the beginning. Single crochet. So the reason why we're turning if you haven't figured that out yet is that when you turn you can keep a seam line in a straight motion. If you keep going in a revolution you end up with a spiral and you see that a lot in hats. This is the end of the line for this particular color and we're just gonna pull through and I'm gonna use a tapestry needle like I showed you. So what we're looking at this row that we just did is considered the wrong side. So what I want you to do is just flip this over and I know that from the pattern. So what I'm going to do for my own purpose is that I am just gonna go here. This is the beginning of where we started and I'm just gonna throw through a stitch marker. So you may have something else. So what I want to know is that as I'm growing this that I know always what is the outside of this. I think it might matter for this so I'm just gonna throw it in. So then I know that this is gonna be on the outside of the boot. So let's take a tapestry needle, hide those in and then let's start on row number three next. So let's start with the next one. I'm going back to the main color and what I want to do on row number three is that I'm going to join it to where I finished. Now my goal is is that I wanna check on this round to make sure that I still have only 63 stitches. If you have six and like in my case it's 63. You could have 55 or you could have 71. If you have an extra stitch somewhere you can just do a two together just like you did on the edge just to eliminate out a stitch if you have to and if you don't have enough just throw in an extra stitch and I would probably throw it near um, the heel if you were to gonna do that. So that's just kind of where I would do that and that's something. So just join it to the very beginning of where you started before. I am looking at the right side of the project because it's row number three and I have it marked with the stitch marker so that I can see that as well. So I'm just gonna pull up and I want to do a slip stitch to join that one and then chain one and then single crochet into the same one where I did the join. So I wanna go all the way around with the single crochet and I'm gonna make sure that there's only 63 in my case and you decide what you would like to do with that and I'd probably count it too. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll see you at the end of this round. This is round number three. So I'm coming all the way back round. I have, this is the 63rd. So I'm just going to join to the very beginning to finish that off the beginning single crochet. Pull it nice and tight. So you have a nice tight join and then turn your work. And we're gonna have to go look at the instructions now and let's take a look. In row number four we're gonna take a slightly different path depending on what size you are doing. So for each of us we have to choose the size. So it's either small, medium or large. So we're gonna do one single crochet in either the next 20, 22 or 26. So do the size that you're doing and then double crochet two together a total of either three, four or four times depending on the size. Then do double crochet three together. That should be at the tip of the toe and then double crochet two together either two, uh, three, four or four times and then one single crochet all the way to the end. Let's try number four. 
So let's do, um, we're gonna chain up one, we're gonna single crochet starting in the very first one and we're either going to do the 20, 22 or 26. So I'm gonna count the 22 for myself because that's my size. So I'm gonna start off, so I'm gonna say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. And if you're doing the small size that's where you're gonna stop because it'll be smaller for you. But I'm continuing to go for myself so I'm going to move on. So twenty-one and 22 so that's for the medium size and then if you are doing the large size I need you to go all the way to 26. But I am doing the small size here so or sorry the medium size. So it says double crochet two together. So if you're doing the small size you're only gonna do it three times and in the medium to large you'll do it four times. So I'm just gonna do that. So just collect the next two. So do one, click the next two. This is two, click the next two. This is three connect the next two and that's four times. So do you see where the this is? So this technically and I'm gonna look at it because I might have made a mistake and I think I might have. So you know when I'm looking at it I wanna keep it even. So the next three are going to be three together. So one, two, and three and I'm gonna trust this pattern at this moment and then I'm gonna continue to move on. So then for the small size you're going to do two together three times and then the medium and large you're gonna do it four times. So starting in the next one, so to put the next two together. So one, next two together, it's two, next two together, it's three and so then that's the small size and then for the rest of us it's gonna be one more in order to complete. And then we're just gonna continue to single crochet yourself all the way back to the very start of this at the back of the heel. And this was row number four. And I would pull out your stitch marker too because you've just nailed it. And let's continue along. So I'm coming all the way back around and I'm just attaching and I'm going to turn and we're gonna begin number five. And you can look at the instructions but I'm just gonna continue right away because I showed you how to read that before. So we're going to continue and we're gonna chain up one and we're gonna do either one single crochet in the next 16, 17 or 21. So choose the size. I'm gonna count all the way to um, number 17 for myself. So one is going in, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen and that's the small size is sixteen. Seventeen is the next one which is my size medium and go to twenty-one if you're doing the large. Now we're gonna do a double crochet two together for the small size only three times in a row and the medium and large is four times. So we'll just pick the next two and go one and the next two is two and the next two is three. That's the small size. One more set is the medium and large. So now we're going to do the point again. So the next three in a row are three together. So picking up three and then we're going to put in the um, double crochet two together either three, four or four times. So in my case it'll be four. So put the next two together. So one and the next two, this is two and the next two is three. That's the small size and then for us in the medium and large it's just one more. And then we're gonna single crochet ourselves all the way back to the end of this round. And let's continue along and I'll finish, see you there in just a moment. So I'm coming up all the way around and that's it. So pull nice and tight, keep it nice and tight and turn. So we're gonna do the sixth 
round and you can look at the instructions if you wish. So we're going to just chain up one and we're gonna do one single crochet in each of either the next 12, 14 or 16. Choose the size. I'm gonna count to 14 for myself. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 and 12 and that's the small size. So you will stop and just wait for me for a second. And then for the medium size you're gonna do two more. So this is 13 and 14. And then for the large you're gonna keep going um, do two more to get you to 16. So double crochet two together for the small size is three in a row. For the medium that I'm doing is three in a row and then for the large it's four in a row. So let's do that. So we're gonna I'll put the next two together. So one and then two and then three. Okay, so the small and the medium have just got your three in a row and then uh, the large you'll have to do that one more time and then we're going to do uh, then um, three together. So picking up the next three. Whoops, I'll try that again. So it's coming together really tightly on the top of the the foot which is what you want. So after that's done you're going to then put the next uh, two together. You're gonna do that either three, three or four times. So the small and medium is three times in a row. So one, uh, pick the next one up. So that's one. The next one is two and the next one is three. So if you're doing the large you just have to do that one more time and then once you're ready for that then you'll just single crochet yourself back to the very beginning. And please do this all the way around and I'll see you at the end of this round and this is number six. And we'll have a special instruction for rows number nine and ten only, or sorry for the large size only. I'll explain that to you but everybody else we're just gonna hold uh, in the small to medium category. Okay, this is what we're looking like right now and what we have here is that we just completed round number six. For those doing nine and ten, or for the size of the large of the nine and ten size, you are going to then just chain up one. So you're gonna turn your work when you get back and you're gonna chain up one and do the first 19 stitches. Then do three together which will be here at the point and then you're just gonna do the single crochet right to the very end. And that's what you're gonna do but for the small and medium don't do that. So all the sizes now going ahead we're going to then start at one last row and then we're gonna begin starting the leg. So right where we are no matter what size you just finished you're just gonna turn your work and begin the next row. The next round for all sizes you're just gonna chain up one. So make sure you did turn it before you started and just apply one single crochet in each of the stitches going all the way around and then we're going to start doing the leg in just a moment. So if you have this spacing at the top here, if you're too loose with it you can end up with the open spaces. You can also throw pom poms there if you're getting that kind of space and it's really really bothering you just plop a pom pom. <laughs> People won't know the difference and uh, it's just something that you can do but just make sure you're kind of tight about it. Maybe I should have said that there. I'll put a note in the video I suppose. So just continue to do one single crochet around in each and we'll start the leg next. So coming up all the way around I'm just gonna join it with a slip stitch. So what we just did is the start of the leg and so now we're gonna repeat the last round until the leg measures a total of three inches or three and a half or four depending on the size and you're gonna end on the wrong side. So I've just ended here so I can see here so I know I'm on the right side. So if I'm ending like this I know that I'm on the wrong side and that's where we wanna finish. So what I'm going to do is that now that I just come around I'm just gonna turn chain up one and apply one single crochet in each going all the way around and continue to do that until you get this leg section to be this. Now if you would like to put in a stitch marker so that you can determine that I would probably seriously consider that as well just for myself. So just put in a stitch marker at the start of the leg section and then you can determine once it's up three inches from there you know that you're good to go. So let's continue until it's three inches. So now just picking it up and I have my three inches done from the stitch marker up. I'd recommend that you do that by the way. Um, I was reading on the instructions it's important. So this is where I finish. So I'm actually on the wrong side. So when I go to start the next row which is part of the instruction I should be on the right side so I can see that and we're going to continue to the next round. 
The next round we are going to increase just by two stitches to make more room for your calf and what we're going to do is that you're gonna chain up one and in the first one we want to apply two single crochets. So one and two and we want to just continue around and in the last stitch you're going to put in two single crochets as well and then you're going to join and then turn. So I'll see you there in just a moment. So I'm coming into the very last one around and I'm just gonna put two single crochets in there and then join it to the very beginning. You're gonna turn your work. The next round is just what you already know. So you're just gonna chain up one and one single in each, come all the way around, join and then turn around. So you wanna continue now to go back and forth like you were before and now you want to measure up to eight, eight and a half or nine inches from the stitch marker. So you're now going to continue to grow this. So there's gonna be quite some height on this and what I want to do then is then meet you there at the end of that. So the very last round you should be finishing on the right side. So the very, when you're finishing you should see the outside of the boot. So just continuing now. Uh, so I just joined it and turn and just do one single crochet in each of the stitches and then back and forth until you get to the height that you want and I'll see you back here in just a moment. So I'm back and what I have is my eight and a quarter high and I finished on the right side so it's on the outside when I came around and uh, that's it. So I'm going to fasten this off and then we're gonna start doing the cuff next and the cuff is actually a separate unit that slid over top and then we're going to join it with the single crochet at the top. So let's uh, finish this off so just uh, fasten off and I'll be right back and we'll start the cuff in just a moment. So let's begin. We're going to start off with the slip knot and we have to chain either 35, 39 or 43 depending on the size you're doing. So I'm doing 39. So just I'm gonna show you secrets. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So what I want you to do is slide that off and pick up the first chain that you started with and just slide it onto the hook. and then pick that loop back up right there and I want you to continue. So if we did 10 it would be 11 and 12, 13, 14 and 15 and do all this the way and this will help you not twist your chain. So I'm at 15 right now. Get to the size that you need to get to. So I've gotten to my 39 and I'm just gonna yarn over and pull through and through. And so the beginning ring is then formed. So as I begin I'm going to just chain up one and we're going to do one single crochet in each of the stitches going across. Now the first time might be a little difficult um, but don't give up on it. If you wanna use the Hooga uh, original you can do that as well to make this cuff instead of using this fluffy yarn. It's your call. But what they are suggesting, so I've just done two already. So what they're suggesting is on the first one just so it's easier to see is just leave a stitch marker there that's something that will stand out and we will catch her that every time we're going around. So I just wanna do one single crochet in each one of the chains going all the way around. You might wanna verify that you have the right count um, but uh, I wouldn't worry about it if you're off by a stitch or so. So continue around just doing one single crochet in each. So I'm going all the way around and then I'm just going to slip stitch to the top of the first one that we did and that's marked with the stitch marker. So it's helped to know it helps to know that. So if you wanna move that stitch marker to make it easier I would highly recommend it. The designer did as well. So once you get all the way around just join it and then move up that stitch marker so it's up one row. So you're just gonna continue to go in the same so you're not turning like you were in the boot. So just chaining up one and doing one single crochet in each of the stitches going around. So just take your time. So your goal now is to get this done. So you either have three inches, three and a half or three and a half depending on the size that you're working on today. And then what we're going to do then is that don't fasten off at the end of that and we're going to attach it to the boot using the color A and then that'll pretty much conclude our project for today unless you wanna do the pom pom and then there's other tutorials available for that. So just one single crochet in each and get your thickness that you would like. So it's either three or three and a half. Okay I got to the size that I want to get to so I'm just going to snip off this yarn and we're going to use the color A which is the seam, I like the sole um, surrounding color. It was that um, purplish color. So I'm just going to take this and I'm just gonna weave it in and out three times like I showed before and then we'll move on and I'll show you how to join it and then we're almost done. 
So my goal now is that I'm going to slide this cuff over top of here. So just kind of put it around and slide it up over top. And then we're gonna use the next color to join those. So just make sure the top aligns. And let's grab our secondary color which is this color here and we're gonna go around the top. To go around the top just put a slip knot on to the hook and just go through the outside of the cuff. Just kind of get to the very back of it and go through the cuff and then pick up the back of the of the boot. And you're just going to pull through, slip stitch and single crochet in the same one. And all you're just going to do is just follow this around. So going in the cuff and then just kind of peel it back so you can see the next stitch. It should be the same diameter. So just going there. I'm going right up over top of the straggler to trap that into position and then go to the cuff and then go to the next stitch and behind. And just do this all the way around. This is a single crochet edge and then that's all this is and then there's no sewing involved. So I'll see you at the end of this round. Once you get all the way around you're just going to slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet and then you're going to use your tapestry needle to go in and out and therefore this is completely attached. So I'm just gonna pull that through. So I'll attach it in a moment. So what you have here is that it's completely attached on the side there and you have the nice color there. And so you can attach a pom pom to the front of this. So my only regret and I would have put a, a note in the tutorial if I was editing is that I wish I was a little bit tighter here but other than that it actually turned out really good and of course if you want the cuff bigger you can honestly do that as well. So that's it for today. We hope that you've enjoyed. This is the turn the page crochet um, slippers uh, kind of a boot kind of concept. It's almost a millennial kind of um, pattern to for people to wear. But of course you are there. You are the artist. You can do whatever you feel. So have a good day and we hope to see you again real soon right here in the Crochet Crowd. Bye now.